Cornwall can be a miserable place. Sometimes you look out the window in the morning and all you want to do is stay in bed because it's lashing down with rain or hail. It does feel like we are forgotten down here at the end of the world. Yeah, I started off like with my dad as a youth. Him being a cyclist himself, he kind of always just said, oh, you'll be a cyclist one day, son, and I was just like, OK, cool, whatever. I remember we went for one ride, and um, I think the next day he picked me up in the morning and we went over to the local bike shop and said, look, I think one well, of my boys like, got something. He just wanted them to help me as much as they could. And it all went from there, really. Start doing your local club, like 10 mile time trials, which he raced. I've still, I've still got his times in like, his training diary for when he was a lad. It's nice just to have that to look back on. And... When my dad passed away, I think, you know, I had days where I wanted to just, you know, scream and shout at the universe and all these questions running through your head. And, uh, it's just tough. Um, to come to terms with it all. My mum, to watch her two children go through something like that, to see her break like she did, I kind of had never seen that in her before. Doesn't get enough credit for the things that she's done. Going out on my bike, clear in my head and just being away from everyone and everything that was going on. It was kind of just my escape from it all really in that time. Um, it was the only thing I knew, it was either that or completely go off the rails. And I knew deep down that wasn't me really. Cycling was my only escape. As a team, St Piran are doing something that's very rare in Cornwall. Essentially just a bunch of guys who are passionate about cycling, who have come together and decided actually we can compete at the highest level if we work together and create something that is sustainable. It takes a team and a platform like St Piran to become a professional cyclist in a place where that just doesn't happen. They're really good friends, you know, not just teammates. I mean, Dad drove us to races together, so like guys like that were around and, and they helped me in any way they could, really. You don't realise it at the time, but you just, you realise actually how valuable those, those close friends are. In Cornwall on those rainy days when you don't want to go out on your bike, having those guys to come around and knock on the door, for me that kind of helped get me through those dark days.